Hey everyone. So today I decided to work on a new build and part of what I am working on building I am I have turned back on the zombies and the predators in the game so I have to deal with them again and of course I mean what's a zombie apocalypse game without zombies it's not a zombie apocalypse game that's what it is so my plan here is even though I have this huge wall built around my area, what I want to do is I'm kind of thinking of doing is building a, a tower here nearby the areas where I put up um, this these stairs. I have one here and I have another set of stairs way over there. You, you can't see them, they're just too far away. The idea is to build this up, put some stairs on this, build it up high enough, and then build a, a kind of a um, kind of a deck not not maybe not a deck is the right word but a platform that stretches over to where my fence is there and then from there anything like uh, bears or any other wild animals including the zombies I can deal with them without having to go up to the fence because if you okay so let me back up a little bit if you've seen other videos that I've done or if you haven't do you hear that? Okay, so there's a zombie over there. Yeah. Okay, so there's zombies over there. He's doing some stuff. And I thought that what I would do is I want... Come on. Make up your mind. Get... Girlfriend, get over here. Get over here. You're, you're annoying me already. The heck. Alright, let's see. Well, it's gotta be a little bit of damage there. Yep, yeah, that oh that's got a little bit of damage. That's got a little bit more than just a little bit. So my plan is I wanna build up a tower that I am going to use to go up whenever zombies come in, or when I have a blood knight. And there I will use that tower to um, to kill the zombies without having to go down on the fence. What, what I'm trying to accomplish is I want to see if I can build a structure nearby the wall, add some, some kind of a platform that overhangs this fence, and then kind of like from up here, except from on that, I can shoot down at them with arrows. So that's kind of what my plan is. I want to see if if I like that idea or not for um, for something to do. Does that work? Will that allow me to have zombies in the game and, you know, something cool? Instead of having to go over the desk or instead of having to come over here, go up here and go over here to fight stuff. Instead, I build up a, a um, kind of a structure here that will overhang the fence and then I will make myself a bow to go with my arrows and that way I can just stand up there and shoot at them and kill them and you know not have to come down here and fight them not that this is all that hard but just because I was thinking it'd be interesting to see what happens if I uh, if I do something like that so anyway this is gonna take a little while and I got a couple of got a bunch of trees I gotta cut down so I'll get back to you when I get further along, alright? See you in a few. Alright. It's been about a day's worth of work. And I think there's an infected over there somewhere. I just want to see what happens here. It sounds like he is attacking down below. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. So, you might be wondering, well, what's what's the purpose of this when you have that down there? The purpose of building this, this building... Oh, it's interesting. So, you see what happens 
it, it all depends on where I'm standing. If I'm on an edge or visible, like if I move, okay, so he's attacking and then I move and he doesn't attack. So I think the idea is that what I hope to do is to use this as an area to fight off uh, wild animals or zombies like this, but do it from up here. And I, I know I need a bow and arrow and I don't have that and I can't, I can't like stab them from way up here. Only way to do that is to take them down there. I guess the thing I was surprised of is from my understanding is they only really attack the foundation or the fence like if you're there so being on the ground with them is very important being on that foundation with them is very important without that they aren't going to attack so I go down here okay he's attacking it's attacking okay I go up here Okay, now I get here, and he's done attacking. Okay, I'm over here, and he's still done attacking. But I move. Hmm. So I'm not quite sure. Something, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not quite sure about how exactly the, the AI of the zombies and the wild beasts in this game work based on where you are in relation to them and any foundation or construction you have built. I guess the idea is how, I'm trying to figure out how do I how do I manage the wild animals and the zombies outside of my fence and make it in such a way so that I'm com so that one I, I don't want this guy to attack my base like he is it's kind of annoying I, I want to limit the number of repairs so that's part of the reason why I built this is my hope that uh, one that with that not touching this part of the foundation they won't attack so here let me go here okay no attack Still no attacking. All right. And now he's attacking. So I don't know if I need to move this back a little bit. Yep, still attacking. Yep, still attacking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and there we go. We let it we let it go on too long. And he blew a hole in the wall. Alright. We let him do that too long. Oh well. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to leave this up here or if I'm going to, uh, um, or if I'm going to tear it down and rethink what I'm doing here. There, there we go. That's taken care of. Yeah. Got to do repair. Make sure I get repairs done. All right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. Again, maybe it's overthinking things, but I like the idea of just trying to figure out exactly how this game works. Haven't seen any of the wolves yet. I'm interested in seeing what that's like. So anyway, um yeah, I don't know if I'll keep that up there or not. Maybe I have to move it further back. You know, if I depending on where I move it, if I move it far enough back that 
the infected doesn't or yeah the, the infected or beast don't start attacking the foundation I built around there then maybe that would be an area to set up I guess I just want an area where I can stay up high and attack them of course I gotta go make a long bow long bow so I think I'll I think I'll go uh, I gotta figure this out Impedia weapons long bow I gotta make a quiver and stick plant fiber oh that's a torch stick and some rope all right let's see what we got here let's see if we have the things that we need to make stick and rope okay where do i have my rope am i out of rope Bet you I'm out of rope. Okay, I gotta go make some rope. Give me, give me, give me a moment. All right, I think I have this figured out. Let's see, two, two, two. Okay, that takes care of that. And stick. I have a stick. Okay, so we do on the workbench. Like that. Open a stick. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's right. I gotta, I gotta empty one of my uh, slots. Otherwise, I can't put it in there. All right, we'll put this over here. Yeah, I'll probably figure out how I'm going to set up to make sure that I have everything I need with me anytime I go out. I have a tendency to err on the side of having too many, uh, too many spears. Okay, we got the archer bow. And now we got to make, we got to make the quiver, animal hide, and rope times two. Okay. Let's see. One. Two. Alright, and I need some animal hide. I gotta drop off this. Uh, drop off that. Let's see, where is it? Do I have space in here? No, I don't have any space in there. Okay. Animal hide. Oh, that's going to be really heavy. Oops. Okay, that did... <laughs> still didn't work. What? Ah. Got to be easier ways to do this. Okay. I gotta check that recipe again. What I wish we had is a drop down menu here that we could look at what items could be crafted on this so I can save myself having to keep going back here to the itempedia quiver. Automatically my backpack. So two anima high and two rope. One, two, two. One, two. All right, that's automatically in my backpack okay so here it is let's go get some arrows we got tons of arrows let's see how many can we let's see I think we can do all of them right it would be nice if the tool over tool tip gave us some idea about how many we can put in here but I think it's 40 yeah well it looks like 40 there are stacked at a time Okay, 40. Alright. Okay, put that back in there. So now we should have everything we need. Let's go give it a try. See how bad I am. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. Hold still, bird. I'm trying to shoot you. 
Oh, wait a second. Oh, wow. My first time with the bow. Nice. I mean, for me, not for that poor boar. All right, did I get my... Okay, I, think, uh, I didn't get my arrow back. I wonder if it's here or is that just totally got used? Totally got used one time. All right, I need something from you. Oh. Okay, not so bad. Oh, get my arrow back. Nice, nice. So yeah, the idea is to go up here when mobs come around and then just to rain down fiery, fiery death from up here, you know? Yeah, I think that would be a great idea. Yeah, so I guess that's kind of kind of what I'm thinking about doing. I, I think I need to maybe move this tower back further <laughs> after all this work. Tear it down, take it back a little further. Maybe I need to go a little higher. And that way, during blood moons and everything, I can just stand up here and just, you know, shoot down at everything. Instead of go down there and fight them on the ground. I don't know. I'm just thinking about things to do. I don't need to do it. I think I'm perfectly fine just going down there on the ground and uh, fighting hand-to-hand -hand with everything that, you know, comes and tries to attack. So that's it right now. Hopefully, um, just sharing some ideas maybe some of the stuff you want to do yourself maybe you have a better idea about how to do this again the idea is I want to create some kind of a tower some kind uh, I'm looking for another advantage against the game against the artificial intelligence in the game to give myself a place where I can stay see these things and they can't see or sense me. I mean, they know something. They know that I'm something's around, but they can't spot me. And then that way I would be able to like, okay, I see you. And then I shoot and kill them. And it's, it's easy mode because why not? Again, I think in one of my videos, I said, you know, humanity is all about trying to get an advantage over everything because that's how you survive and thrive. That's how you become the dominant species. That's how you get yourself taken off, uh, you know, <laughs> Off the, off the dinner plate for the rest of the world. All the animals and creatures and predators of the world. You say, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be for dinner tonight for you. Sorry. You're my dinner whenever I want you to be dinner. Yeah, that's the way that works. You're dinner. I'm not. All right, so that's it for right now. I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I might continue to build on it. I might decide to move it back. Uh, maybe I'll move it back another foundation level. Or I'll move back far enough that maybe I'll be back here. The The issue is I can't. If I if I connect that with one of these foundations that are already connected with the, with the fence, sometimes the infected will know that I'm there. They'll know because I'm on the foundation somehow the logic works that when you're on the foundation even though I'm not here even if I'm just here or even this far back I mean I showed you I can stand right here and they'll make noise but they won't attack anything but if I'm up on a foundation like right here they're gonna know I'm here they're gonna know I'm here somehow some way they're gonna know I'm here they're gonna start attacking the foundation and we can't have that we got to figure out some way to get around that you know because it would be cool i mean why not have a tower i think that would be a great idea so anyway that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and i will uh see you in the future later dudes